All right, in section uh, 2.2c, intercluster URI dialing, we're going to associate uh, side B with uh, uh, URI, uh, so they can dial 3001. We're going to add a uh, two-speed dial on side B phone pointing to the HQ phone on button 5 and 6. We're going to add one more speed dial on HQ phone 1 and phone 2, which we already have done for, si HQ, uh, for side B phone. In the case of uh, button 6 should point to site B1 form. Now we're going to ensure that newly added speed dials are functional and that the intercluster URI information is exchanged every one minute. When site B phone calls HQ phone 2 from HQ, uh, then uh, the HQ phone 2 should show the following, which is basically uh, the, uh, the dialing pattern and the four digit extensions. All right, so I'm going to go to site B end user first so as B1 I'm going to create another one just for my phone so that I can do a quick test as B1 uh, SB1, uh, sorry, side B1 at CCIE collaboration dot, my apology, just the one, Cisco, Cisco, SB, gonna save that, associate my phone that I'm using, the test phone, as you can see the control device, primary extension and the group that I need one two three four all the way bottom you can always pause if you think that I'm too, going too fast you can just simply pause and see what's going on all right so I got uh, a side B phone one so now I'm going to put an URI so I'm going to call side B one at ccie-collaboration.com now go to the phone itself so on site B phone the test one rather I'm going to change the phone button template. Lab 4, 